Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I will share my favorite K-Beauty skincare products with you guys. Original plan was to pick 10 products, but you guys, there are so many amazing K-Beauty skincare products. So I have 15 products in front of me. And in my opinion, in my experience, these are the best, you guys. I feel like everybody should try these products at least once. These are really, really nice. Almost all the products here, they are fragrance, essential oil, and drying type of alcohol free. And a lot of them are sensitive skin friendly. All the products that I will share in this video, I will leave the links in the description if you want to purchase them. So the first product I have here is Isn't Tree Chestnut AHA 8% Clear Essence. You guys, this is my favorite K-Beauty product. Like everybody else, they breathe oxygen. I breathe this product. I love it that much. So this product has 4% glycolic acid and 4% lactic acid. And the formula is so good, you guys. The way they combine both of these powerful ingredients, the formula is so good. It doesn't feel like you are exfoliating your skin. It feels very soothing and calming on the skin. This has some great soothing and calming ingredients. This has centella, some active compounds of centella. This has panthenol, allantoin. These are soothing and calming ingredients. This also has glycerin and sodium hyaluronate. Both are great humectants. And the chestnut shell extract, this brand said this is also a soothing and calming ingredient. The formula is so good, you guys. Sometimes I use it once a week. Sometimes I use it twice a week. Sometimes I use it three times a week. It never irritated my skin and it just keeps my skin really even, really nice. I used to have a little bit hyperpigmentation on my right cheek. This was the product that helped a lot. So every Monday, Thursday and Saturday, I take two pumps. That's all you need for your whole face. And then I spread it in my hands. And I apply it everywhere you don't you don't need to apply too much product you just need a thin layer i avoid the the eye area area around my eyes it keep the texture of my skin really smooth if you have textured skin i think you will really enjoy this glycolic acid is smaller in size it penetrates deep into our skin the combination of glycolic acid and lactic acid, they nailed it, you guys. This feels so nice on the skin, very hydrating. There is no moisture, it's just hydrating. And it feels really nice and soothing on the skin. Even if you have sensitive skin, I don't think you're going to have any issue using this product. The formula is really nice. You can use it once or twice a week. I don't think if you have sensitive skin, you're going to have any issue. If you don't have sensitive skin, you can use it two to three times a week. Sometimes I use it three times a week without any issue. So yeah, I love this product, you guys. I think everybody should try this product at least once. It's so nice and they give you 100 ml product. And the price is, I think, $12. And most of the time, this is on sale. Next product I have here is this sunscreen from this brand named Skin 1004. This is their Hilo Sika <laughs> Water Fit Sun Serum SPF 50 Plus PA Plus 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 Plus. You guys, I have so many positive things to say about this sunscreen. So this has four chemical filters, new generation chemical filters. These, these new generation chemical filters are more stable. This also has Tinosorb M. Tinosorb M leaves white cast. On my complexion, this leaves zero white cast. It doesn't get stuck in my facial hair. I don't think the white cast of this sunscreen is going to be an issue. This has UVNL. T150, UNL T150 protect your skin from UVB rays. This has UNL A+, UNL A+, protect your skin from UVA rays. This has Tinosorb M, Tinosorb M provide great protection against UVB and UVA rays. And this has this filter name USORB HEB, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. This protect your skin from UVB and UVA2 range. This filter is very stable, great filters, all new generation chemical filters. And you guys, the name Serum, when I first tried this sunscreen, I was like, okay, it just, just feels like a cream. Like, why would they name it Serum? When you apply this sunscreen, it feels like a cream. But after like 5 to 10 minutes, this completely disappear. Like, there is no shine, nothing. It just looks like your skin. So I can see why they're calling this sunscreen a serum, not a cream. It's not like other sunscreens. It's not super creamy, super heavy. It doesn't sit on top of your skin. 
it's very lightweight very very lightweight like temperature right now is normal here and i'm using it every day without any issue it doesn't make you sweat it doesn't clog your pores it doesn't sit on top of your skin this sunscreen is not sweat and water resistant so if you're going to be outdoor for a long period of time if you're going to sweat definitely don't just rely on this use a sunscreen that is sweat and water resistant but for an everyday sunscreen this is amazing you guys i'm so impressed with this formula they nailed it when i did a review of the beauty of jison rice sunscreen you guys said try this and i love it i love it so much this sunscreen is on sale right now on yes style if you are looking for a new sunscreen i will definitely recommend you to give this one a try i think you will really enjoy it next product is this 2x barrier intensive cream from this brand name sunjang if you've been watching me for a while then you know i love this moisturizer it's one of my favorite by the way they changed the packaging this is the new packaging so this moisturizer it has very less ingredients less ingredients less chances of irritation this is a medium weight moisturizer good option for dry skin or combination skin if your moisture barrier is disturbed this is a great option for you if you use a lot of actives then you can use this moisturizer with those actives without any issue or if you're just looking for a very gentle basic moisturizer give this one a try it is so nice it's shea butter based it feels very nice and luxurious on the skin shea butter feel very nice on the skin so it feel very very nice and very luxurious on the skin i love this moisturizer i think i purchased it 16 17 times it's amazing i will highly recommend you to give this one a try i also purchased this moisturizer for my mother so many times her skin is mature and dry and she loves this moisturizer so yeah i think everybody should try this moisturizer at least once it's really nice really really nice next product is this retinol serum from this brand name isn't tree you guys i still remember when i tried this serum for the first time i was on the floor i couldn't breathe like isn't tree how did you achieve this texture oh my god you guys this feels so nice hydrating plumping on the skin how did they achieve that like a retinol serum that is lightweight i was expecting it to be more on the moisturizing side but it's hydrating with a hint of moisture i love this texture everybody all skin types can use this in every season like you can use it in summer you can use it in winters love that so this has all your favorite anti-aging ingredients this has 0.6 percent bakuchiol bakuchiol is a plant-based antioxidant it also helps stabilize other ingredients and we have some data showing that it works like retinol this also has retinol palmitate 0.3 percent another great antioxidant and we have 0.1 percent retinol in this this also has five peptides peptides are anti-aging they plump up your skin your wrinkles and fine lines they appear less visible and with long-term use they help with wrinkles and fine lines this also has cholesterol fatty acids and five ceramides these are skin barrier strengthening ingredients this also has some soothing and calming ingredients this has three active compounds of centella this also has alanthoin panthenol these are great soothing and calming ingredients this also has niacinamide niacinamide is anti-aging it's brightening it helps if your moisture barrier is disturbed niacinamide also helps with redness like this has all your favorite anti-aging ingredients and this serum is affordable price of this serum is 12 dollars to 14 dollars and we get 20 ml product again if you want to purchase this i will leave the link in the description you guys this is the best k beauty retinol product i tried it's really nice you will have to try it to understand it just make your skin look really nice every night when i use this serum next morning my skin looks so nice love this formula You'll have to give this one a try. I think everybody should try this serum at least once. It's really nice. Next product is this mineral sunscreen from this brand name Haru Haru Wonder. This is SPF 50 plus, PA plus, 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 plus. In my experience, in my opinion, this is the best K Beauty mineral sunscreen. This brand did a really good job with this sunscreen. So this sunscreen has zinc oxide. Zinc oxide protects your skin from UVB and UVA rays. And the fourth ingredient in this sunscreen is a SPF booster. I will put a clip here where I applied this sunscreen. So you can judge the white cost of this sunscreen better. At first, I applied one finger length sunscreen on my face. If your complexion 
is similar to my complexion or lighter than my complexion the white cast of this sunscreen is not going to be a big issue for you unless you have facial hair then it's it will be an issue i apply this sunscreen in layers as you can see in this video with first application one finger length product there's barely any white cast on my complexion and then i applied more product on my face again if your complexion is similar to my complexion or lighter than my complexion the white cast is not going to be a big issue for you and here is my face after 30 minutes as you can see the white cast disappeared a lot you can still see it like it leave brightening effect on my complexion but i don't look like casper the ghost this sunscreen has some other great ingredients this has vitamin e rice oil hortania cortada extract these are great antioxidants zinc oxide and hortania cortada extract they are both soothing and calming as well this also has ceramide and p this also has glycerin and sodium hyaluronate both are great humectants this also has niacinamide niacinamide help if your moisture barrier is disturbed niacinamide is brightening it help if you have dark spots it also helps with redness love this sunscreen i think this is the best k-beauty mineral sunscreen i tried i know there are a lot of other mineral k-beauty sunscreens but i think this one is the best one i tried it's really nice next product is this centella unscented serum from this brand named purito this serum is really nice so this serum is soothing and calming i already did a review of this serum on my channel so this serum has 49 percent centella extract this also has some active compounds of centella this also has panthenol, green tea, licorice. These are all soothing and calming ingredients. If you have sensitive skin, if, you're, if your moisture barrier is disturbed, if you use a lot of actives, you can use this serum with those actives and if your moisture barrier is disturbed. And they also added some other great anti-aging ingredients in this. This has sodium hyaluronate, ceramide, glycerin, niacinamide. We have peptides, adenosine. The ingredient list is great. And it's very lightweight i think everybody can use this serum in every season it's very lightweight i love this serum again if your moisture barrier is disturbed or your skin is really sensitive or if you use a lot of actives and you are looking for a soothing and calming serum give this one a try i think you will really enjoy this i love this serum next product i have here is this eye cream from this brand named pyongkang yul this is their black tea time reverse eye cream you guys this eye cream is so nice in my opinion in my experience the best eye eye cream in k beauty it's so nice i recommended this to so many people in my family and they all loved it so the star ingredient in this eye cream is fermented black tea rich in antioxidants and they added some other great ingredients in this this has adenosine this has peptides niacinamide sodium hyaluronate glycerin centella great ingredient list no fragrance no essential oil no drying type of alcohol the best part about this cream is the texture you guys it's very buttery it's very nourishing it feels so nice on the skin they added great moisturizing ingredients hydrating ingredients in this eye cream this eye cream plump up the area around your eyes your wrinkles and fine lines they appear less visible if you have dark circles in my experience with this eye cream they appear less visible as well i love this eye cream again in my opinion in my experience this is the best k beauty eye cream i tried it's really nice next product is this ceramide auto intensive cream from this brand named ilion i love this moisturizer you guys this is the perfect winter moisturizer if you have dry skin if you have sensitive dry skin if you have combination skin that is more on the dry side you're going to love this moisturizer in winter the texture of this cream is more like a balm it lock the moisture in and help with transepidermal water loss but it's not like other creams and balms it doesn't clog your pores it doesn't just sit on top of your skin the finish is natural they did a really good job with this formula the ingredient list is great this has no fragrance no drying type of alcohol no essential oil sensitive skin friendly this has fatty acids cholesterol and ceramide they encapsulated ceramide in this cream they said those ceramides are more fresh so these are skin barrier strengthening ingredients if your moisture barrier is disturbed you know with winter air your cheeks get cheeks get really red if you have really dry skin if you use a lot of actives this is a great moisturizer you can try 
this moisturizer if you have oily skin uh, this will be too heavy for you but for dry skin and combination skin i think this is a great option love this moisturizer i also recommended this to my cousin and i also purchased it for my mother and they both loved this moisturizer it's really nice next product is this sunscreen from this brand name beauty of jason this is their relief sun rice plus probiotics spf 50 plus pa plus 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 just like this skin 1004 sunscreen this has new generation chemical filters four new generation chemical filters this has UNLC 150 UNL C150 protect your skin from UVB rays, UNL A+, UNL A+, protect your skin from UVA rays. This also has Tinosorb M. Tinosorb M provide great protection against UVB and UVA rays. Tinosorb M leave white cast. On my complexion, this sunscreen leave no white cast. It doesn't get stuck in my facial hair just like this sunscreen from Skin 1004. And this also has UV Sorb HEB. This filter protect your skin from UVB rays and UVA2 range. This filter is really stable. This sunscreen also has 30% rice extract. Rice extract is brightening, it helps with dark spots, it's anti-aging. This also has great antioxidants. This has ginseng root extract. Ginseng is a great antioxidant. It also helps if you have redness, it's brightening. This also has vitamin E, green tea. These are great antioxidants. This also has niacinamide. Niacinamide helps if your moisture barrier is disturbed. Niacinamide is also brightening. There are a lot of brightening ingredients in this sunscreen. This also has glycerin. Glycerin is a great humectant. In my experience, this Beauty of Jason sunscreen is a little more on the moisturizing side than the Skin 004 sunscreen. I find this one more lightweight. But both are equally good. If you are looking for a cream, if it's really cold and you're looking for a cream, go with that one. If it's not that cold, go with this one because it's more like a serum. But both are equally good. I really like both of these sunscreens. Very similar formula, very similar finish in my opinion. It's just this Beauty of Jason one is more creamy than the Skin 104 sunscreen, but both are equally good. I love these sunscreens. Next product is this Yoja Sleeping Mask from this brand named Sun By Me. Now, this is a moisturizer for oily skin or combination skin that is more on the oilier side. If you have dark spots, if you have hyperpigmentation, if your skin is just looking more dull these days, you can give this moisturizer a try because this has so many brightening ingredients. So, this has 70% Yoja extract. Yoja is rich in vitamin C, great for brightening. This also has 5% niacinamide. Niacinamide is great for brightening dark spots. And they added some other great brightening ingredients. This has Arbutin. This also has three different forms of vitamin C. So we have great brightening ingredients in this. Again, if you have dark spots, hyperpigmentation, or if your skin is just looking dull these days, you can give this moisturizer a try. In my opinion, this is a good option for oily or combination skin that is more on the oilier side. I love this product. I purchased it four times. It's so good, you guys. It does have Yoja essential oil. It smells like lemons and oranges. It might bother some people, but it never gave me headache, so I never really cared about the fragrance. But yeah, it's really nice if your skin is not sensitive, if you don't have fragrance allergies. Definitely give this one a try. You're going to love this. Next product is this Riddle Shot 100 from this brand name Weedy. Now this serum is very innovative. The ingredients in this serum, they are in a needle form. They are way smaller than the pore size. These ingredients penetrate deep into the skin. They work faster. I will put a picture here so you can understand it better. When you apply this serum on the skin, you feel those needles. It's like you are using that micro needling tool. It literally feels that way. You feel those needles on your skin. They added some great ingredients in this. This has niacinamide, macadamia seed oil. Macadamia seed oil is higher in the ingredient list. I was expecting it to be very moisturizing, but it's more on the hydrating side with a hint of moisture. And they also added some great soothing and calming ingredients in this. This brand also said that this is going to exfoliate, gently exfoliate your skin and it does that. They also said it's going to help with redness and I feel like since I started using this product, the redness around my nose disappeared a lot. I love this product you guys. I don't know what kind of magic they did with this product, those needles. I wish I can share this product with you guys right now so you would understand me better. 
those needles they feel so bizarre on the skin but your skin look so nice after that this serum it has that instant skin brightening skin plumping effect love this serum it is more on the expensive side $30 and we get 50 ml product it is more on the expensive side but it's so worth it in my opinion love this serum I will highly recommend you to give this one a try if you are a bougie queen so <laughs> I tried many k-beauty cleansers but in my experience in my opinion this one from Hamish all clean green foam cleanser this is really nice you guys I think this was my first k-beauty cleanser I think so or maybe not but I love this cleanser you guys it's very gentle the surfactants that they use they are very gentle fragrance free it doesn't give you that squeaky clean feel the ph of this cleanser is 5.5 if you have acne prone skin 5.5 ph is great for you because acne bacteria love higher ph it's just this cleanser in my opinion is perfect like there's nothing wrong with this cleanser it's so good i love it i think out of all the k beauty cleansers i tried i love this one the most it's very gentle it does the job really nice it doesn't remove makeup it doesn't remove water and sweat resistant sunscreen this is a very gentle cleanser but it's a great morning cleanser or you can use it as a second cleanser in the evening but yeah i love this cleanser i will highly recommend you to give this one a try this cleanser is also very affordable i think the price is 10 dollars, and we get 150 ml product if you want to purchase it i will leave the link in the description next product is this laneige lip sleeping mask I think I discovered this product in 2019 or maybe 2018. You guys, I don't even bother with other lip products anymore. I just purchased this. It's so nice. It's so moisturizing. I apply this at night and when I wake up, my lips are moisturized. Look and feel juicy. <laughs> but yeah, I love this product. Whenever I watch other people review this product, they always say they find it drying. I don't know how they find it drying maybe you're not applying enough product you're supposed to apply a thick layer of this product at night I never find this product drying I love this product in my experience in my opinion this is one of the best lip products out there like you should give this one a try I think you will love this it does have fragrance fragrance is a little strong yeah it is a little strong if you have fragrance allergy then definitely avoid this product but i love this product i will continue to purchase this and i will highly recommend you to give this one a try i think you will really enjoy this next product is this rice toner from this brand name i'm from so this is a milky toner it's moisturizing it is very deeply hydrating but it's also moisturizing this has 77.78 percent rice extract rice extract is brightening it's anti-aging it helps with dark spot dark spots hyperpigmentation this also has niacinamide another great brightening ingredient and this also has adenosine adenosine is a great anti-aging ingredient again this is a milky toner if you have dry skin combination skin even if you have oily skin you can give this one a try i think you will really enjoy it it's not like other toners they just sit on top of your skin it's very deeply hydrating but there is moisture as well really nice if you are looking for a brightening toner if you have dark spots if you have hyperpigmentation give this one a try i think you will really enjoy this i recommended this toner to so many people in my family and they all loved it so yeah if you want to purchase it i will leave the link in the description and the last product i have here is this chestnut bha 2 percent clear liquid from this brand name isn't tree so this has two percent salicylic acid you guys i was so excited when i just, when i saw this product i was like oh my god finally we have a k beauty product with two percent sounds like a said please correct me if i'm wrong in korea it's not allowed to formulate products with 2% salicylic acid you can only do it with 0.5% salicylic acid but they said this product is made in korea how is it allowed to formulate products with 2% salicylic acid there please let me know if you have any information so salicylic acid is oil soluble it penetrates deep into your pores and clean your pores from inside i love using salicylic acid on my nose because i have sebaceous filaments and blackheads and i also like using it on my scalp because my scalp is really oily 
So I was really excited to try this and you guys all love this. If you will close your eyes and you will use this product, it feel just like the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid. If it feel just like that. And the finish is same too. But with Paula's Choice, I feel like it give you instant results. Like it has that punch. With this one, you will have to use it for a few weeks to see the results. That's the only difference I noticed. With Polar's Choice, the results are more faster. With this one, the results are slow, but at the end, the results are same. I hope I'm making sense. But yeah, I love this product. It's a lot more affordable than the Polar's Choice one. I will highly recommend you to give this one a try. If you have oily skin, if you have blackheads, sebaceous filaments, acne, if your acne healed with redness, you're going to enjoy this product and compared to the Paula's Choice one, this one is a lot more gentle. I feel like even if you have sensitive skin, once or twice a week you can use this product. So yeah, these were the 15 best KBD skincare products I tried. Please let me know if you are using any of these products. You guys, this video is going to be very long. Usually I keep my videos very short because I never want to waste anybody's time. But this video is going to be long. Next, I will share some of my winter favorite skincare products with you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.